Hello everyone, welcome back to Sustainable Living with Shilpa Reddy, powered by Planet Greens Farm Natura, a new beginning to your life. On this episode of Sustain Cart One Sustainable Change, where I will interact with this vibrant and relentless woman who walks the talk, fondly known as Worm Rani, Vani Murtigaru, who will talk about simple changes each one of us could incorporate in our lifestyles. We hope to stand as a guide for those who choose to tune towards sustainable life choices. This episode is brought to you by Sustain Cart. Welcome back, Vani Garu. <laughs> Thank you, Shilpa. Today, we'll talk about travel. In the recent past, uh, I've seen many people indulge in travel also because of the, you know, the kind of convenience we have, the connectivity have, we have. And so many destinations are being posted on social media, so people aspire to go. And everybody feels the need to take those few days off. So travel has become a huge industry. Having said that, a lot of us are adding carbon footprints when we travel and uh, also using excessive resources. So let's touch upon few aspects as to how to become a sustainable traveler. So you can list, list out few things that comes to your mind immediately when you think of travel. Oh yes, it's it's one big thing that happens to everybody because we all love to travel. Mm. But on my part, I don't travel much. Mm. Uh, but of course, uh, when when we talk about travel, it could be a travel outside your home to this uh, to within the city. It could be outside the city, outside the country. It could be many such mm. things. Correct. So uh, it's I have taken on holidays, uh, you know, just to get away from you know from uh, you know a, a monotonous kind of life with family friends. Uh, yes, uh, the thing is, we choose destination what everybody concurs to. Mm -hmm. Now, the, everybody has to have one. If it left to me, I would be very picky on where I want to go because okay. recently they had planned to go to re that is before the COVID. Uh, you know, my friends and my husband, they, we all planned to go to Ladakh, and I said, "You go ahead. I'm not coming." Why is uh, that? Why? Because <laughs> I felt it's an eco-sensitive zone. Already, tourism is really, you know putting a lot of pressure on the ecosystem there. So okay. I choose not to go there. Wow. Uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, for me, they, it didn't happen and COVID <laughs> came. And, uh, and anyway, uh, they would have traveled without me if if they had cho chosen to go. Okay. Uh, that was a very clear decision I had taken. Uh, of course, first of all, when we look at travel, we should look at how uh, on, on the go, uh, how can we be more sustainable, the mm. choices that we make, like what can we pack and take, right. you know, uh, can we equip ourselves so that we can uh, say no to uh, all that is single use, because that's one of the biggest polluters that you, you keep uh, repeatedly using something and discarding, mm. and that could add on. And of course, destinations that whichever suits you, you want to go to a quiet place or you want to go to a place where there is a lot of activity. activity huh? So people choose a beach or a resort or you know a mountain or whatever. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I think uh, everybody deserves to have a holiday and uh, you know it's up to them how they want to travel. But of course uh, we, 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 we need to also look at during that period of time that we are away from home, how how much of resources, uh, less of resources that we are using that mm. uh, is quickly converted into trash, mm. you know. So uh, let's think of few things that people can uh, pack when they plan for a travel. Oh, well, you carry your own bottle so mm. that, you know, you can refill wherever you go. Right. Uh, I carry a napkin, you know, few napkins always in all my bags, bags. and my suitcases so that I refuse a one-time use mm, of paper, paper tissues napkins, like yeah. today in the hotel uh, they brought the uh, you know paper napkin along with the idli that I had ordered ordered and I, I sent it back immediately so <laughs> that it doesn't go with it it'll get trash Correct. I said you can use it I don't use paper tissues okay. so things like that you know and uh, carrying your cutlery like uh, if you're in the airport and you want to eat something mm. so I have I always have a plate with me so Vani Garu let's give some tips for travelers to become sustainable. So let's let's list list out few things that people can pack before they go on a tour yeah. or a travel destination. Yeah, Shilpa. The whole point is, uh, how much can we refuse? Mm. That's that needs a little planning. Just look at how what you would need 
on the go and start looking at carrying your own bottle so that you can refill anywhere and not pick that you know packaged bottle mm. uh, of water Which and has then, an expiry <laughs> yeah it has expired and don't even know when it was packed and how much of the chemicals in the plastic has leached into it Correct. because how it was exposed to the environment exactly. you know mm. uh, so it comes to a refrigerator when you you know get it. it but ah. uh, you don't know uh, how the transportation where it was Correct. stored so you know Packaged water is not the healthiest water that you can drink. But it, we are all psyched, right? Yeah, if absolutely. If something is given in a tumbler, you refuse and you go looking for the yeah, plastic bottle. Yeah, coffee. exactly. Uh, so good filter water anywhere you will get. Mm. So you can refill. Uh, the second thing is, uh, you know, if it comes to me, I have a travel kit that okay. I always What's carry. What's travel kit? I would love to know. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's quite, uh, in Bangalore, we, they keep talking about Vani's travel kit. Oh, really? Because I have a plate in which I, I, I tie it a, a napkin around the plate so that, you know, if I have to, in the airport, oh. I want to eat something. Huh. I haven't packed my own. Otherwise, I usually pack something from home so that I don't have to buy food mm -hmm. outside. And if I have to eat, I have a plate in which I would take it. I wouldn't take it in a paper plate or any other plate. Wow. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll have cloth napkins mm -hmm. everywhere. In every pocket, you will see one little, you know, a cocktail napkin, which is a small cloth napkin, which from a reused curtain or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, and then uh, I use that because I refuse tissues. Mm. I refuse bottled water, refuse tissues. My cutlery will be there, steel cutlery, cutlery wherever I go. Uh, so, I have things like this in my bag uh, so that, you know, I, I, I refuse anything that is used once and mm. discarded immediately. So, okay. like today, I was in the hotel and they got, got a paper napkin along with the idli that I had ordered and uh, the paper napkin I sent back immediately so that because if I leave it uh, unused with the idli they would have discarded yeah. it so I don't want that to go waste because see mm. you must look at the resources being used Correct. and then you know that being discarded immediately after use uh, we are putting a lot of stress on the resources right. uh, you know we that's something that we have to be mindful of so and also Vanegaru uh, to refuse meaning like when we you know pay for a hotel Somehow we all, majority of them, I stopped thinking like that, we feel that since we paid for the hotel and we paid for the room, you know, it becomes our right to use a towel every day, ask the housekeeping to change our sheets every day. But uh, I remember you mentioning once that you carry your own towel. Yes, <laughs> I do. I carry our typical thin towel which dries very easily. Mm. Uh, so I don't have to use uh, something that the hotel provides. I make sure that they don't change my sheets because mm. at home we don't change every day. Exactly. So why <laughs> should you get the hotel to change your sheets every day? And it's resources, not, the yes. detergent, the yeah, toxins. The water that you use, the machine that they put energy. in, the electric energy. Mm. Uh, it, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be wasteful mm. even if it is paid uh, for. Paid for. <laughs> so uh, it's okay uh, to, you know, be uh, your practice is most important to mm. you. It's not like what's available and what I can use. Correct. You know, so I think we need to be a little careful on that. And of course, all I carry my sh my own soap mm. uh, in a little box, my toothbrush, and mm. I have my tooth powder in a little. So everything I carry so that I don't use any of that that right. is available there, and make that as a minimized uh, you know mm. uh, spending on that. I mean using that kind of uh, resources because many times they keep a shampoo bottle you use half and you leave the other half it gets wasted. And the so, next day they refill with yeah, another they, new bottle. Absolutely. So I, I, I think there is something we have to be mindful of and mm. it's not dif very difficult. One not. must be proud to save resources that's than it. you know waste it. Mm. Yeah. yeah see that's the mind, sh mind shift people needs to you know, enjoy and take pride in that I have not used or overused resources. Yeah. That should be the pride factor, but not like let's indulge just yeah. because we paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true, true. So, and uh, any travel destinations that um, you would choose uh, if not you know, eco-sensitive uh, destinations? Well, I leave it to my husband because <laughs> he enjoys travel. If he, he wants to go a certain place, definitely. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I, I will be very... Uh, I, I will actually look at what, what that place is offering. If it okay. is just a beach and, you know, we're going to have, he loves water. So we just go there and mm. it's okay. And of course, my kids in, in future, they're going to plan on our family, uh, you know, gathering together, where yes. we go and all that. So, okay. But I always wanted to go to Africa for a, a safari in the wild. Oh, I love wow. to see the, <laughs> you know, animals in the wild. I never, ha I hated zoos because they was caged. caged so yeah. I will be looking forward for future travels where I can go and see the wildlife. Untouched, you know, untouched, yes, <laughs> untampered. So the little change I felt I made, like it's not that I did not go to resorts and don't go, but uh, 
basically when we go to resort it's just it's the same pool a restaurant a beach area depending on where you're going so from last two years the conscious change i made is to make sure i go to a uh, untamed you know like a raw terrain uh, like forest walks or trekking with my son where it's not too secured or too tamed it also kind of you know makes him understand and you know like experience nature in its raw form and not everything is manicured and made to uh, you know keep you safe and all artificial that's so lovely so i think sustaining your health also comes through travels like these having said that uh, it's a journey that i started and i'm finding more places uh, that i could take my son uh, which are you know in real nature wherein we're not tampering with the ecosystems that's so beautiful and i mean kids love to discover nature in its true form right and that's fantastic to introduce them in a holiday absolutely <laughs> so vani garu i wanted to ask you about the food that you packed while you were coming here because i saw your insta post can you talk about how to pack your own food when you're traveling well when you leave home definitely uh, there's this chance of you to take something from home mm -hmm. so that you can i would love to refuse the uh, you know food that is <laughs> on the aircraft right. uh, if it's lunch time or dinner time you know otherwise you eat and you leave uh, but i was this time when i was coming here uh, yeah. i was uh, during lunch time so i just packed uh, you know an idli sandwich i oh. put uh, i put the uh, you know the uh, chutney puri uh, with oil in the middle and cut the idli into two and put it oh, wow. made a sandwich and people found it so interesting to pack it's so <laughs> easy it's not messy right. and uh, i had some boiled chana and i carried some chip chickies in case i feel hungry Correct, yeah. and some almonds and walnuts were there in my bag uh, so uh, you know carrying is not a burden mm. you know many people may think oh it's so much uh, baggage that you have mm, to carry mm, mm. Uh, that could be a part of the reluctance to carry food from home because right. you can put your fruits into your bag and all but i would rather carry that little burden than burden my planet with all the disposables that i would generate if i and eat and also burden your system with all yeah, the packed food packed which food, is which you don't know fresh or you know it's so uh, I, yeah both ways in both ways mm. why burden yourself putting that food into your mouth Correct. and also uh, you know getting the disposables that will go somewhere right. you know burning the planet so Absolutely. we need to think of that so if you have a chance to pack something from home you should do it right yeah i usually throw an apple uh, that chikki yeah. chikki the nuvu laddu that right. sesame, sesame you know laddus and some nuts mm. and as you, as you said if it's lunch time my you know complete packaging you know the whole lunch is packed right, <laughs> and right. the water bottle straw yeah all these things true true i think these are the changes we all have to make uh, first thing also because you have to sustain your health yes. you can't put anything and everything in you know in your stomach and which are all high sodium high fat high preservatives artificially flavored colored so this is something everyone should follow yeah, and they are frozen and then heated and given to you right. so you don't even know how fresh they are so also how sometimes people are so not disciplined when it comes to using energy uh, resources when we travel <laughs> yeah 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 i mean uh, when we go to hotel also we have to be mindful of the amount of lights that we are switching on and switching off right. or leaving water uh, you know flowing in the in the taps just because you pay doesn't mean you have to use them up right. uh, like last night i didn't need the ac so i just had the fan going and i was very comfortable right. so i didn't want to use the ac so i think we can uh, look at how you know we can reduce consumption it's consumption of resources Absolutely. energy is resource so it we should be mindful see the whole point is to be mindful of how we live we should be mm. conscious of what we use right. you know it's there is there are many generations ahead of us that need okay. uh, resources and we, we can't, can't we can't deplete them, them. absolutely yeah. you right. know every little saving is saving for the future right and human life is the most expensive life on the planet the moment yeah. a, you know a child is born how many products by the time you know you grow up to a certain age how much of you know like exploitation you know taking the resources from the planet happens true true unlike true. other creatures who just do it in like few yeah, little they, things yeah they don't generate anything the earth can't digest we are the ones constantly generating things you know Absolutely. which is harmful for them right. because they are trapped in our with the way we live lifestyle yeah and uh, we are losing out on species because of that we mm. might lose ourselves too like i uh, think that will be the best thing that will happen to the planet <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know uh, someone rightly said that if human beings 
you know, extinct. go extinct, the planet will flourish. Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, the ecosystem will be so vibrant. Every right. creature will have its own balance and, you know, right. they have nothing imbalanced. The right. trees will survive and, you know, nobody to cut it cut down it, and yeah. put so much of carbon into the atmosphere, the industries that pollute, pollute. you know, your rivers, your lakes, your oceans, mm. your soil, everything is getting polluted, polluted. because of Absolutely. us. Yeah. But uh, as, you know, this, this whole episode is about one conscious change. There is still hope because human beings are resilient. We can change things around if we all put our mind and hearts to it. So that's the whole idea of yeah, uh -uh. us talking about. Absolutely, one we change. need to have hope. Otherwise, we don't. We will never. We will never feel motivated to do things what absolutely. we are doing. Yeah. You know, we will just feel oh, there's no point Correct. in you know either talking about it or doing the way because it's not going to change. Mm. Uh, that hope is what keeps us also you know resilient. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> I must thank and I am extremely grateful to Vani Garu for taking out time and making this possible. Hope you all will implement these simple changes in your lives too. Please do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more updates. Signing off, Shilpa Reddy.